Hey, Petra. Yeah. Do you remember her? Oh, yes, I remember her. She hasn't been back in for any of her rechecks. Her leg is, it smells so bad. The animal control picked her up and they brought her to us, so she's ours now. I'll put her in a kennel and then if you can take a look at her, because her legs, I don't know, it looks really bad. Joseph Root is a patient that we treated two months ago. She had a very, very badly broken leg. We fixed the fracture. And unfortunately, the owners didn't follow up on her rechecks. We tried to contact them multiple times. This should have been dealt with weeks and weeks ago. Hello. Hello. Animal control took her away from the owner. She is legally ours now. She's so skinny. She looks bad. We're not sure at this point if the leg is healed or not. This is a neglect, unfortunately. The smell is really, really bad. It smells like rotten meat. I think there's big infection going on. That's the whole source of the problem. This is a perfect example of why a recheck is so necessary. Surgery is only one part of the, the healing process. The rechecks are just as important. If you don't do the follow-up, the surgery was offered nothing. External fixatures, when they are taken care of properly, don't smell bad. They are not meant to be in the bone for so long. They are meant to be put on and hold the bone stable whilst the bone is healing. And then they are meant to gradually come off shortly after. We're talking a few weeks after, not months after. It sounds worse on the left side. Put a catheter in. She's running a fever, which is to be expected given what the leg looks like, so we need to get her stabilized a little bit more. To see a dog this neglected makes me very, very sad. Oh, man, this Because none of this had to happen. All of this could have been prevented if she simply showed up for her rechecks. That really smells bad. This is clearly a case of neglect, and the bottom line is we don't prosecute this. I mean, it's a joke, and, that, and people do amazingly horrible things. That we take it too lightly, way too lightly. It's like having your child wear wet shoes two months straight. That's what it makes me feel like. We're going to keep her on fluids overnight and some heavy antibiotics, try to get the fever under control first, and hopefully she'll be up for some exercise tomorrow. The light might have to come off. I don't know. I'll see what we find on the X-ray. Hello. Hello. How are you doing today? Are you doing better? Are you doing better? Right? Right? All right. Her temperature has gone down on the fluids and the IV antibiotics, which is exactly what I was hoping for. So now we need to get rid of the source of the fever and the infection, which is the X-fix. Then we're going to X-ray the leg and see how bad it is and what can we do. Right? Let's do it. The first step right now is to remove this bandaging that's been on here for far too long. It's soaked with every bodily fluid you can imagine. Man, this thing doesn't even want to come off. The smell of this is pretty disgusting. If you see the rotten fluids underneath over here. Yeah, so that's on my glove just from taking the bandage off. Infection in a case like this could be a real problem. If the infection travels down the pin, then the pin becomes loose. Then the fracture could possibly fall apart. I'm going to have to disassemble this first, and then we're going to go into x-ray. They usually come off easier. The problem is if they are left on too long, then it's kind of hard to loosen them again sometimes. We'll get it done. So now we get to see what pins are loose and what pins are actually still holding. These are actually surprisingly solid. This one isn't. This one's going to have to come out. You can see the reaction around it. 
and that's just from the dirty bandage and the dirty X-Fix sitting on it for so long. That should have been long healed by now, and it's not. This is what inflammation does. This is what fluid sitting on your skin do. So we're gonna set up X-ray, and then we'll see what the bone is doing. All right, child. We're gonna try to give Josephine a second chance. My hope is that when I see the X-ray, the fracture is gonna be somewhat healed and not totally falling apart. Worst case scenario, the whole thing is damaged and destroyed. She might lose the leg. So you can see here that the fracture line is still there. At this point, it should be looking better than it is, but it could also be worse, given what's been happening. I'm most likely going to pull the IM pin because this tissue here is just way too angry. And the bone feels really, really solid, so I think she has a good chance of actually healing. So I think maybe, maybe we actually got lucky this time. I'm going to take her to the table, and I'm going to pull this thing because that's rotten. Come here, my skinny child. Once the source of the irritation is gone, this is going to heal just fine. So what do we got? So you took the IM pen out? Mm-hmm, because this was happening around it, so yeah, yeah. I figured I might as well. All right. I mean, I should heal with time at this point, but look at that. That's so disgusting. Oh, you should have seen it when I was taking the bandage off. No, there was I brown could, fluid leaking from I there. I can smell it. Oh, my God. <clears throat> that is putrid. This is just neglect. Plain and simple, this is neglect. As far as I'm concerned, this person should be prosecuted. We see both sides of this dog's ribs, you know, so clearly it hasn't been eaten well enough, you know, and when you're trying to heal bone, it's a real problem. At this point, you know, what this dog needs is time, nutrition, you know, and, and that's about it. She will definitely need to stay here at the clinic for several weeks until we get this leg completely under control. But I'm sure she's going to find a really good home really fast because she's incredibly sweet. Mm -hmm.